Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Samantha here at Ferguson Family Danes for those who of you who are new and this is Hayden. And, Hi. And today we're gonna be doing a 10 week puppy update. So today we're gonna go out and we're gonna do our normal chores of getting the kennels cleaned up, letting the puppies out to play. And then we have two puppies that we are delivering tomorrow. So we're gonna bring them in, get them bathed, get them microchipped, get their bags ready. And we'll see what else we get done today, but that's the plan for now. Okay, here we go, let them out. <laughs> Here they come. Here they come. Here they come. Here they come. Yeah, he's chasing you. So I thought today, I think we have seven or eight puppies left. Like I said, we have two going home this weekend, two going home next weekend, and I think one pending. <laughs> so um, we'll show you who's available and yeah, kind of show them off a little bit. So Hayden's gonna do some chores, Kobe's gonna play and be on poop duty and we'll get to work. December, but we're gonna let the puppies go outside for a few minutes. This is the first time we're letting them go outside, so we'll see how they do. Come on, puppies! Come on! Come on! All, I don't know, six or seven. That's good. Okay, come on! Come on! Then just let them all out. That's fine. Come on, puppy! What do you think? They're going outside. Oh, look, you're exploring. Good puppies. Look at that. Oh, look at him. Isn't he handsome? He's got, oh, and this one. Where is he? Oh, he's not out here yet. He must, must be getting him. Oh, look, this one's my favorite right here. This is. Reese and his chocolate coat is just beautiful. I'll show you him later. <gasps> there she goes. So Hayden's job today is to get all the poop out here. As you can see, there's lots. So we're getting that cleaned up. <laughs> all right, so they were getting underneath the gate there. So we put a little barricade. Hey, who are you? Now they're, <sighs> now they're playing and exploring. There's Remy and Colt. All right, so my daughter convicted me a little bit. She was like, Mom, aren't, I started working, and she's like, aren't you supposed to be filming? I'm like, well, yeah, but they don't want to see poo. So then as I was cleaning it up, I was like, you know what? I wanted to see poo. So I'm going to show you, okay? So it is a lot to clean up and make sure that the puppies are staying cleanly, that the smell, trying to keep the smell down and just take care of the poop. So um, it has drastically changed as the puppies have um, transition, transitioned and grown. So right now what we're doing is my husband built these boxes that I've showed, shown you. So I just come in here with a scoop and I have a bucket, which um, you'll see later. I just have a bucket that I put everything into. No, 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 bud. Okay, so this is the clean one. And then I went and dumped in some new pellets in there. And then to keep the puppies off, up off of their poop, we put these grates. And they're just like the shelving units that you could like get from Amazon. And then we put those grates, you'll see this box is like notched, okay? 
and the grates just sit on there. That way the puppies are up off of their poop. Like over here, which I haven't cleaned yet, you can see that if there's poop on the ground, there's paw prints all through it and they just get nasty. So then they're covered in poop. So we found that like this elevated system has worked really, really well. So I have all this cleaned up. I'm going to get this swept. Heather, that's yeah. No, Hayden, can you take him for just a yes, second, Heather. please? So this is the clean one. That's the dirty one. We do this every morning and sometimes at night we'll, we'll clean it out too. And then obviously their pads need washed. So, as much as I didn't want to show you, Hayden's like, you, they should be seeing this. So, that's how right now, as the puppies are 10 weeks, that's how we've been taking care of the poop. And then, you know, people will say too, people will say too, well then how do you take care of four Great Danes big poop? We did a video on this a while ago about extending our run area. So that's what this area is. And usually about once a week, we will come out here and scoop up all the poop. So this is the before shot. I'll show you the after shot when we're done. And then I just go down in the woods and dump it. So we are going to clean up the poop. clean run no more garbage got it all the poop cleaned up so looks nice and good Cole what do you think <laughs> so I just got to dump these last two buckets here down in the woods okay about two hours after all this work I'm about ready to be done um, at least take a break anyway so Kimber we have all this cleaned up as you can see Got their water and food filled up. They are taking a nap. Nails trimmed, everybody's washed up. There's Kimber's puppies. And then I am going to clean up this run, um, get everything swept and mopped. And then I'm gonna head inside and get some lunch and take a break. And then we'll get those other two puppies that we're delivering tomorrow washed up and ready to go. up the garage. I'm going to take this pile of laundry in, get it put in, and get some lunch. Hey guys, welcome back. So it's been probably, I don't know, four or five hours. Um, I totally forgot to keep filming. Uh, once we, once I finished eating lunch, I did some other things around the house and got a shower and then we went bowling. So we got back and I microchipped the puppies, but I'm not gonna do that until tomorrow morning. Um, so I just finished getting their two bags, their two go home bags ready for tomorrow. Azul and Periwinkle are going home tomorrow. And then I filled out all of their paperwork and got their folders ready and wrote notes in their Bibles for their new owners and got that packed. And like I said, we got the microchipped as well. So um, before my husband and a couple of our girls head out tomorrow, I'll just continue this video tomorrow morning when we are getting them bathed. And then maybe you can even tag along with them as they deliver the puppies. And then we'll close the video. So we'll see you tomorrow morning. Okay, so we're getting the puppies ready. This guy's getting a bath. 
And we already got the girl washed and Nylon's getting her dried up and then they'll take off here in just a couple minutes. Make sure that you get pictures. Or make sure you ask. Okay. Here they go. Making sure they have their blankets for the puppies. <laughs> Here's Benelli saying bye to her puppies. Alright girls, go ahead. Let's go. Set and ready. Yes. All right, guys. So those two puppies are off to their new homes. I'll put some pictures up here, but that's all for this video. So if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And until next time, bye. So right after I finished filming that video that morning, I walked upstairs to answer my text messages and I had gotten a message from a girl that was like, I want to come get this puppy today. So we went to church and came home, got the puppy ready, took off and uh, met this lovely lady um, about an hour and a half away. So I'm going to put those pictures up here too.